This is Grace with Graceful Living. Today, Hans will show us how the coconut tree is a tree of life. Pretty much every culture that's had access to the coconut tree has labeled it the tree of life. It provides lumber, it provides food, it provides drink, it provides a source of sugar, it provides vessels. There, I mean, it's kind of endless. There's roofing you can make, lash, coconut fronds, you can make baskets, calabashes. It kind of goes on and on. The list is endless. For instance, you can use an old coconut shell as a cup or bowl. Hans makes ropes from the fibers of the old mature coconut. The coconut makes an unbelievable cordage that can withstand sea air, so the, sea, the salt air doesn't really deteriorate the fiber of the coconut, so it can last quite a while, so it's an amazing tool to have anytime you're close to the ocean. So this comes from the old fibers, and basically the, the old fibers are anywhere from, I would say, 8 to 12 inches. And as you can see, this fiber, or this rope, is quite a bit longer than that. Hans also makes his own healing salve from coconut resin. Okay. So this is the sap of the coconut trees. It's formed or produced any time the coconut undergoes damage. If there's a multitude of things that could happen. Rats could start chewing on the side of the coconut. It could just bang itself against the tree in a heavy windstorm. Ants could start damaging it. There's a whole lot of things that could happen, but it produces this as kind of its own natural band-aid. It wants to protect itself from being damaged. So this has a lot of unbelievable properties for humans to be able to utilize in protecting their own skin. So this is what protects basically the skin of the coconut from being damaged from the outside, which is exactly what our skin does. It protects our bodies from being damaged from the outside. This is a essential healing salve that I make. It is made with local coconut oil. Uh, the beeswax comes from a few locations, but most of the beeswax that I get comes from Waimanalo. A couple sources, and then I buy my essential oils, anything that I can make, like, like the comfrey. I make a tincture of the comfrey that I used to grow up in Haula, which I now grow here in Waimanalo. But is an unbelievable you can kind of see the consistency has a great smell used it as a general skin healer but just a general skin lotion as well people have been unbelievably pleased but i've used it for diaper rash i've used it for stretch marks for pregnant women for the resin that comes from the coconut tree so i have there's frankincense and myrrh in this salve which have those same properties of healing helping heal any type of animal. It's pretty much all those essential ones that they're doing that the lavender, country, frankincense, the myrrh, and the cypress is more of a... That's more of an antifungal, you know, so just to protect along those lines. Anz is even wearing a hat made from coconut fronds. The coconut tree is really a tree of life. Thank you, Hans, for showing us what can be made from coconuts. You can find Hans at the farmer's market on Saturday and Sunday with his coconuts. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Special thanks to artist Tommy Osuna for providing music for this episode.